What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and y'all don't have to believe in tarot. Don't exclude yourself in a message because this shit can't actually happen, okay? Collective, all my information will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cash app, leave a comment, and let me know. Y'all, estoy irritado. If you don't know what that means, I am irritated. My neighbor is irritado. She's irritating as fuck. I should have asked Siri how to say irritating as fuck. Estoy irritado. My neighbor is irritating. On so many levels. That might be why the cards that came out while I was pre-shuffling came out. So first... We got the hermit because I'm in this mode, okay? Could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody is sitting by themselves trying to be quiet and 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 they 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 trying to, you know, quiet the mind, probably meditate, pray, think, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you get it is it is tato from 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 your fucking neighbors. I'm trying to learn Spanish, so throughout the video you might hear me say one Spanish word. I'm learning, okay? So then we got the hermit right here. Somebody that's isolating themselves from everybody. This is that person that's gonna go in another room while everybody is in the living room, I'm going in my bedroom, okay? Or while everybody is in a family room, I'm going in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? This person wants to be alone. They're trying to get some form of enlightenment. They're trying to understand something. They're trying to think about something fully through. And I feel like slowly but surely in the process of this happening, if they're iritado like I am, okay, they're going to slowly but surely lose something of value. In this case, it's my patience. Patience is not only a virtue, but a value. Okay. It is. And in this case, I'm slowly but surely losing patience because of my irritado neighbor. Okay. So you might be in this energy right now. Not saying you, if you're not in this energy, then clearly I'm not talking to you, but you or somebody, you know, may be in this energy. Okay. Somebody is slowly but surely losing something of value. But I feel like as long as you're isolated, you're going to continue to lose this. So it's like you might and you might be losing time. You may be losing energy. It's like as long as you sit in a house, you're going to get tired and tired and you're not going to want to get up and go run errands. You're not going to want to, you know, go outside and get some food because by the time you get up to go and get the food, everywhere going to be closed. So you're going to be driving around. And again, you would have wasted even more time, more energy, more money, possibly more patience. So somebody is sitting somewhere. I feel like somebody is losing some money slowly, but surely they're sitting, they're isolating themselves and they're losing money. That's what I think it is. I think somebody is trying to think about something and it's like they're too deep in their thoughts to actually do something. So money is slowly but surely decreasing. Let's see what the love oracle has to say. Didn't I say isolation? Separation. That's the only card. That's the only card that turned around. So what I feel like somebody is in this energy of isolating them. Somebody is in this energy of isolating themselves because they separated from something, someone or a, a situation or a circumstance person, place, thing, idea. There is a separation between someone and someone, something else. OK, and slowly but surely, as long as you're in separation or you're in isolation from whatever this is, you're going to continue to lose out on something money. So it's like it's like if you're doing Uber. Right. And you know that during the day you get more money than you do at night. If you separate yourself from the daylight and you go in your house, by the time nighttime comes, you're not going to get enough money that you would have had you would have took your ass during the day. Or it could be, or hold on a second, hold on a second.
Yeah, so, so excuse me. Um, so yeah, somebody is in separation. And again, as long as you're separating yourself. Now, what I was talking about was daylight as opposed to nightlight. So again, let's just reverse it. If you're if you get paid more at night and you're all out during the day and then you get in the house or you in the house and you know you're supposed to go out at nighttime and you don't go, then you're not gonna get the money that you would get at night. You know what I'm saying? And, and, or whatever, you know what I mean. So again, as long as you're separating yourself from something, you're slowly but surely going to lose out. As long as you isolate yourself from a situation, you know, you're going to lose out. So the more I not say nothing and isolate myself from this bitch upstairs, the more frustrated, angry, and a loss of patience I'm going to have. Seduction. So this is somebody. Okay. So this is somebody who you're separated from, but they continue to seduce you. And see, this is that sneaky, slimy son of a bitch. That's what this is, a sneaky, slimy son of a bitch. This is that motherfucking person. This is that bitch who, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't, I don't want you, but I want your money. Like, this is that sneaky, slimy son of a bitch. This is, I just seen this video on, 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 on YouTube. There was a, okay. It was the YouTube reels, right? And the guy, so the video, when, when you cut the video on, the dude is walking in the house and he's like, man, you about to, you about to leave me. We about to get married in a month and you already talking about leaving. And she's like, yeah, you lost your job. So there's no reason for me to stay here with you. What, what, what are we going to do? And he's like, I'll get another job. And she's like, well, you don't have another job. Well, go get another job or whatever the fuck, fuck the case is. But like, no, I'm gone. And he's like, so when the going gets tough, you just up and leave. And she's like, no, it's really not even like that. It's like, it's more to it than that. Like, how are you going to, how are you going to, what does she say? Like, how are you going to take care of me? Bitch, get your ass up and take care of your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? And just like you said, when the time's getting hard, bitch, this is when I need you the most, not the motherfucking least. You know what I'm saying? And so this is that sneaky, slimy son of a bitch. And I say that because that bitch was ready to pack. He gave her a wedding ring and they were supposed to get married the next month, the, the, the following month. They were supposed to get married. He lost his job and this bitch is talking about leaving him. Took the ring off and everything. But then as soon as he say, all right, you know what? You want to go? No, I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go. And she's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not staying. Fuck that. Brrr, whatever. And she take off. Okay. And he's sitting here crying and sobbing and da, 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 da. But then that $100,000 job come through. And now that he done upgraded his car, he done moved out that little stank ass house because they was going to do it anyway into that other house. And she see that post on motherfucking Facebook where he talking to his long lost motherfucking cousin. And now what's, oh, what's up, boo? You know, we were supposed to get married. Is this still on? No, you sneaky, slimy son of a bitch. No, no, we ain't getting married. Because when I was wanting you, you was trying to separate from me. You know what I'm saying? And this is that sneaky, slimy son of a bitch. I'm tired of these motherfucking people. I'm tired of people. My dude not like that. And I'm happy my dude not like that. I'm happy my dude not like that. Y'all be fucking with these people. And my thing is, you was about to, you was about to marry this. You knew this bitch was like this before you put a ring on it. This bitch was walking around your house with no job. She didn't contribute to any of the rent. And I think she was more upset at the fact that the bitch didn't have any money to carry the motherfucking weight. That's why she was mad. It's not the fact that you lost your job. She not mad that you lost your job because she know you can get another one. Clearly, you was carrying all the weight. She's mad that she don't have the money to be able to do it. Now this bitch is embarrassed. Photos, looking at photos all on Facebook. Okay, this bitch is now all on Facebook. He's on Facebook posting the shit he about to get. And this hoe is just trying to seduce him. 
you separated, bitch, say separated. Okay, because now that you done separated, this person is in isolation. They doing heavy duty thinking, but they're in a slump. They're in a motherfucking slump. You know why they in a slump? Because this bitch done tried to separate from them. But what they don't realize, let me just see. Yep, see, they're in a slump. They don't realize that they gonna bounce back and he gonna go from having not nothing or she gonna go from not having nothing to the ten of cups to having everything and as soon as that shit happens guess what this bitch gonna be just like that if you don't you motherfucking better sneaky slimy son of a bitch